continuously with Naima. Doesn't make sense now. She just got around, things are like getting intense now. I hear you talking about we like, oh, you speak French now. Thank you. 
so I'm super excited. Welcome to my channel. My name is Naima. I am a lifestyle vlogger slash hairstylist, makeup artist of Atlanta slash entrepreneur. I got a day going. My day so far is going really, really good. I'm actually watching my friend's dog for her. So um, that's exciting. Coco. Coco is here. Right here behind me. And I'm dog sitting. So it's a, it's a good day. It's a really, really good day. Uh, I just finished a client. And pretty much, I honestly have the rest of the day just to really figure it out. I do want to start looking into getting sponsors um, just because I haven't even looked into that yet. Like, I don't have a social media kit um, to, to look for sponsors or just anything like that like I don't really know those steps on like how to find a sponsor how to get sponsored and just what all that kind of looks like um so yeah we gotta figure that out that would be great that would be great to get like hair company Ooh hair company sponsors for sure since I do hair I'm in the hair industry um, if you ladies want this hair this is my body wave collection let's talk about what's going on in the news alright so we're gonna go straight to it the 34 at uh, first they said he was 32, then they said he was 35. I'm believing he was 32. I'm going to have to go with 32 because you can't be in your right mind to really be putting your hand on somebody like that, on a woman, a grown woman like that. I think they said that she was 35. So pretty much they were the same age. And that altercation should have never led... It should have never led to him punching her like that to, down to the ground. Like, are you kidding me? Are you freaking nuts? Do, what is my opinion? What is my opinion? What is my opinion? Do I feel like he deserved to die? One, I'm, ooh, I he froze the video I, ooh, before the sticky, impact of the punch. Police say as his mother's mm. being hit, Hood's 14-year-old son fired his Do gun repeatedly like at Brown, shooting him in the back. Probably. Police say Brown ran Ooh. out, and the mother and son did too, with the son still shooting. No one else in the establishment did oh. anything. Um, and so once he saw his mother being severely, um, you know, hit, um, he took action. The two surrendered to police and were later charged with felony first-degree murder. Today, the Cook County State's Attorney dropped those charges. Why are you doing this? Do I feel like her son had every right to protect his mother? Yeah. I will, I will want my child to protect me. And But would I want my child to go beating up some woman like that in the street? Absolutely not. You know what I mean? Because now I'm thinking on the mother's end who lost her child. A mother lost her child still. You know what I'm saying? So both parties were wrong. Neither one of them were right. But for him, that the way he was punching her, that boy didn't have nothing else to do but shoot him. You know what I'm saying? And everything happened so goddamn fast. He could have killed her punching her like that. He could have killed her. So I'm obviously his uh, the son was like, oh my God, my mother. I have to protect my mother. And then they said that she texted him to go in a car. Y'all didn't see this woman pull out a, a phone not one time to text nobody, nothing to go 
and get a gun. So that part, I'm really, I'm a little bit confused. Um, but she probably did. She probably, they probably had got into it early on in the beginning. And she probably was like, bring me my gun. She probably texted him, bring me my gun. And then he probably started going in on her even more. And that's when that son just, woo! That son took him out. That son took him out. He protected his mother. Now, did they just stay and wait for the police or did they just leave? Now, that was the part that, yeah, I think they just left. Like, I mean, did they really think they were going to be able to, like, flee away like that? Like, that was a little bit crazy. I'm just really being honest. That was a little crazy that they thought they could just flee the scene. <laughs> like, ma'am, um... Sir, no. I don't think that that man should have lost his life. I wish the little boy was like, you know, trained to wear. And I know he probably never even shot a gun before. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm sure he is super traumatic. They say, you know, he was only 14. They say, I think he was like a really good student. You know what I mean? So he wasn't a bad child or anything like that, they still don't know what the altercation was about. Like, they they have no idea why those folks was out there fighting like that. Like, nobody knows. Nobody, still nobody today knows why they were fighting like that. But they dropped the charges. And honestly speaking, I'm not upset. I, I'm going to be honest and say... I am not upset that they dropped the charges. I'm just going to... I'm. I would be lying if I if I if I said that I, I was upset. I'd be lying. I'd be lying. I'm putting on a little makeup. A little makeup. A little makeup. Honestly, I haven't put this primer on in a long time, but this is like one of my oldies, but but goodies, the milk of magnesium, and it just really. And what it does is it really closes. It really closes up your pores. Sure, you can get to know me better. What you want to know? the whole situation with the young boy protecting his mom and killing this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, death, you can't come back from death. Like, was the argument that serious? Was, like, was the hot dog that serious? You know what I'm saying? Like, was it that serious? <laughs> When I'm up in the function, Johnny Dang on a chain, it's custom. Walk through when I'm looking like a hottie little baby woman, nice with the body, it's busting. This dress look good, cause I'm in it. 
Big body range rope and I win it. I'm in my bag, I'm in my trophy, trip down in Prada, shooters just set feet. Big down, big money, big pressure. I'm saying I stop this is an aura. And ever this is in the color of 59 in. And I thought I didn't like it, but it's, it's growing on me. It's definitely growing on me. I will say that. Like, underlyingly, it's bad enough that the women, what's up, Shawan? Shawan, it's bad enough that the women hate each other, but for the men to literally attack, I've been seeing videos on top of videos of men attacking black women. Oh my God, I saw this one video. The woman was like helpless, like she couldn't do nothing. She was a little heavy set. He was punching her up and just everything. I'm like, is this really happening? But I guess like domestic violence is really real. I guess like niggas really be out here hitting women like that. I, that was something that I never had to go through. Like, I, I guess I thank God. He said something like that shit. I, I believe that. I believe that. When you say some people like it, I ain't going to tell no lie. I do believe that there are women out there that will provoke. I do believe that. I'm not telling I believe that. I believe that there are women out there that will provoke a man to hit her because she might like that type of stuff. But whatever was going on in that store, he didn't have to, he didn't have to snatch her and beat her up like that. I got abused by my ex. Are you serious? Oh my God. That's crazy. I don't, abuse is just something that is just one of those things that I just... It's not cool. It is one thing to be kids and y'all fighting and, and shit. And, and, you know, under 12 and under 14 and fighting and shit. Little boys, little girls fighting. But grown. Grown adults. That's, that's, that's too much. It's giving grow up. Like, and who do you think you are that you could just be punching somebody out like that? Punching a woman down. Like, what in the mess? Like, who? That was some sh oh. That was some sh You hear me? Honestly, all the makeup that I'm gonna do today, I don't really wanna do that much, but I definitely do wanna do like a lip and probably a wing. Just because it's nothing like a wing. And I really. I need my lashes done again. But I will honestly say these lashes are honestly. These lashes, baby, are holding on for their life. And.
Okay, you guys, so this is my fit for today. Oh, look. Oh. All right, so we are about to head out and go to the grocery store. I was thinking about, I wanted to go to a restaurant, but since I'm dog sitting, right, right. Let me put this on you. Where are you? 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 Come here. Come here. to the grocery store specifically to get some I, I, I need I have I want to make a different I have dinner but I want to make um I want some tacos for lunch I want I want some tacos for lunch so stuff about the god the killings and everything like that but i just wanted to say that shout out to um tiana taylor for winning um best director of the year award like honey that's big um shout out to her for winning that and um i saw that she had posted i think in 2019 that she was going to be like the biggest director you know like and that is just so lit for her to like just say I'm tired of this and I'm going to kill it in this area. Um, and I don't know like if she was like tired of it, but it's just like she just wasn't getting like the love that she felt like she should have been getting, I guess, in the music world. So that kind of just I guess made her like feel that way. You know what I mean? Um, so shout out to Tiana Taylor for that. Uh, I know Lotto ended up getting an award. A couple of the girls ended up getting awards. But that's really kind of all I know as far as like who got awards. I'm not really... I didn't watch the BET Awards. Um, I will say that I really want to know what was JT wearing. Like what? Like ma'am, we... The, you're not going to a funeral, ma'am. You look like you're going to a funeral. Like, this is the BET Awards. Who told you to put that dress on? That dress on look, did not look good on you at all. And um, what else? That's all I really, really saw. I didn't really, I didn't really see anything else that just stood out to me on the show. But, yeah, you guys. So, we're here at the Publix right now. And, um, I'm excited. I'm excited to make these tacos. So. Oh, I definitely want to get some strawberries. strawberries I definitely want to get some ground beef I'm pretty much getting like everything because I feel like that's the only thing that I'm missing is um, is the is the 
taco stuff. I can't get no. I need to hurry up. Did I buy some? I, I feel like I just bought some cheese. I think I just bought some cheese. Okay, so I got cheese. I do need the meat. I don't have any meat. And I'll probably make some. What else do I need? Some taco seasoning and some tacos and maybe a tomato and some cilantro. Okay, so let's see. Can diapers, crackers, um, it in oh, tacos, taco, 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 taco. Taco, taco, salad, short ends, cakes. What all would the tacos be on? Probably where the international foods and pastas are. Yes. Oh yeah, we need some. Yeah, I love this drink. I love these drinks. Um, let me see what else. Some tacos, some barbaca seasoning. This looks good. Because I kind of did want something like this. I did want a taco like this a little bit. I did. Like with the street tacos yes this is what i was looking for like some street taco type um and maybe a few hard tacos not really i really kind of did want the street tacos um and i guess the taco seasoning okay thank you do you guys have good diva hey i am girl VIP service. This girl is going to help the way she does stuff. Oh, thank you. I love VIP service. I am a vlogger. Yes. <laughs> So how's your day going so far? My day is actually going really good. I just, yep. Yeah. Okay, that should be, that's, that's all I need. I don't even need that much. But. Okay, guys, so we are back in the house, and I already started the stove. Now I'm just going to put the meat inside. So I've been vlogging all day.
come to me. All she ever says is come and see me, boys. Come and see me, boys. You won't ever come to me. You won't ever come to me. <laughs> kind of like street tacos. When it melts in your mouth like that, that's when you know you did a good job. This is going to be lunch for the rest of the week. This was so better than going out and spending money. Right. You know what I mean. I'm spending $50 at a restaurant. I'm going to have this tomorrow. The next day, the next day, the next day, the next day. Yeah. 
chilling. I'm not telling no lie. I enjoy being around this dog. This dog is um, very, this dog is like, he likes to be under you. And I like that. I do like that. You guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, did you enjoy it? If you did, please leave a like. Um, please comment. My last video, what I got like 18 comments. We ain't never, we ain't never went to ran up the comments like that, y'all. Never ran up the comments like that. So that that was everything. For me. When I saw that shit say 18 comments, I said, Oh shit. We talking, we communicating, let's go. Let's go. Thank you.